Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to Daily's 2A News. I saw a pretty sad article over at BearingArms.com earlier today and I, I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I felt like it was an important topic. I'll link the article down below if you guys want to read it for yourself. But the oldest gun shop in New York City, which is John Javino's, established in 1911, is essentially being forced to shut down because he just couldn't make it through the lockdown. There just wasn't enough revenue, not enough money coming in. There was essentially no money coming in. And rent is due and there's just not money to pay the bills. So so the oldest gun shop in New York City is going to be closing down, and uh, it's a terrible thing. Now, stuff like this really drives me nuts because you know that Cuomo and de Blasio absolutely love this. They are happy to see this happen. I mean, uh, de Blasio did everything in his power to make sure that gun shops stayed closed during the lockdown. And while they were closed, there's no income, there's no revenue, and there's no way to keep their business open. And so here we have uh, what should be really a historical place. I mean, this place has been open for like 110 years. It's been through a couple different world wars, and it's seen everything from World War I to 9-11. Uh, this store is uh, kind of a fixture. Now, I've never been there. I've never seen it myself, but something that's been around for that long just has like this historical presence and you kind of feel it. Uh, apparently it's in Little Italy, so I'm sure that it's a store a lot of people walk by all the time and you just know that it exists. You know that it's there and everybody that's lived in that neighborhood for the past 110 years knows that that place is there. So it's sad to see something like that go. Another thing that kills me is you know, we spent trillions, trillions of dollars to supposedly prop up the economy, try and help out the average guy, and really just try and focus on small business. That's what we were told. Well, uh, millions upon millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars were sent to these totally unnecessary places People like this in this gun shop were forced to suffer and forced to close. The owner of the gun shop right now is 75 years old. He was hoping to retire soon. And one of the quotes in the article says that he felt like he made it. He was successful. He made it. And then this happened and just completely stopped everything. So uh, it was kind of a sad story. If you guys live in New York and you watch these videos, uh, you know, maybe head on down there and show your support. I mean, Apparently it's too late. Yeah, he's forced to shut down. There's not really anything uh, anybody can do about it. But uh, still, I think that seeing something like that go that's been around for so long and supporting the Second Amendment community for so long is just a, it's a sad sight to see. And I think it's a politician's fault for making this happen. And I think uh, it's the broader politician's fault. You know, the federal government who is supposed to be bailing out small business instead is bailing out all of these other uh, interests that they have instead of the people who actually need the money. So it's just, you know, it's something I don't like to see. Anyway, I wanted to let you guys know about it. Again, you could read the article. I have a link down below. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.